this is an awesome, incredibly awesome knife. And my review of the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Finally, what are you talking about? This is the finish that is still on the blade and still looking pretty darn good. Yeah, you can tell there's some scuffs in it. Of course you can. That's normal. But from a distance, can you? No, not really. It looks still like a black blade that uh, hasn't had too much hard use. But it's had a ton of hard use. So that's why I'm saying finally, because we did that video quite a while ago, and I'm just now getting around to my review of it, of the knife. So, my apologies for all those who have been watching my channel and have been expecting me to review this for uh, a while and give you my thoughts on it. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, been busy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but this is an awesome, incredibly awesome knife. And I, I, I can say that with certainty, again, because I beat the crap out of it. And it held up. It did just fine. This, as you can tell, is the Digi Camo G10 version and black coated blade version. Uh, it comes in a number of other versions. I think you can get uh, a number of other colors uh, for the scales. Uh, you know, plain and encoded. There might be a serrated and part serrated version of this knife. I haven't looked at all the different versions. This is the one that I was most interested in, in and this is the one that I got. Uh, I'll credit Blade HQ for that really quickly. Um, they sponsored the beating up of this knife. Well, there you go, guys. That's my review of the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Today we are looking at the Spyderco C11 SBK Delica model. This particular Spyderco has black FRN fiberglass reinforced nylon handles with bi-directional texturing. Gives an excellent grip. You can get a four-finger grip even on this Delica model. It's an excellent EDC knife. There's also jimping on the uh, FRN scales and also on the uh, thumb ramp, which gives a very, very secure grip on it in both the forward or the reverse grip. You also have a little thumb rest on the butt end in the reverse grip. This particular model has a fully serrated blade of VG10 stainless steel. You also have a lock up via the David Boy detent on the lock back. The uh, detent uh, serves the purpose of making it so you don't inadvertently close the knife when you're gripping it tightly. It also is excellent. I like it because you can, you know, really find where it is in the dark just by feel alone. It gives you a good indexing feel on it. These serrated blades from Spyderco just cut like there's no tomorrow. The blade length on this model is 2 and 7 8 inches with a 2 and 9 16 inch cutting edge. You also have a blade thickness of 3 30 seconds of an inch. The overall length is 7 and 1 8 inch closed. It Majors in at uh, four and a quarter. It has a half inch hole diameter, which makes it very easy to open up when you're eating. We thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mr. Leonidas here, and this is my video review at the Spider Co. Matriarch 2 folding knife. And this is uh, definitely one of the most wicked self defense folding type knives on the market. Uh, Cold Steel also makes a knife, a folding knife called the Talon that also has a hawk bill or reverse S style shaped blade. But when it comes to folding knives, uh, I'm really a Spyderco fan at heart. So the first thing you'll notice is, uh, one of the first things is my YouTube channel name is laser engraved on the blade. I got that done at Blade Show 2015. Uh, really impressed with it. Uh, really like the overall look and uh, you know adds a nice bit of customization to it. Uh, it has the wicked profile blade of the reverse S uh, hawkbill type, just really awesome uh, self-defense type blade, fully serrated, uh, hollow ground, and uh, I have no doubt on my mind that that could easily rip through a leather jacket. And uh, another thing you want to notice coming up is the Emerson Wave. It does have the patent number on the reverse side of the blade there, which is pretty awesome. Standard uh, Spyderco or Spidey Hole, which is one of my favorite features on a Spyderco folding knife. Just absolutely love it, how it, uh, my thumb indents in there, very comfortable. There's no stud to sort of, uh, you know, uh, give my thumb a hot spot, very comfortable, I like it. The handle is based off of the Spyderco Endura. So you've got a good overall uh, beefy handle, but yet it's uh, fairly well streamlined and it's uh, very comfortable to hold and gives you a lot of real estate to work with when you're holding this in uh, multiple grips. This really cool pocket clip is composed of titanium and has a Boba Fett Mandalorian symbol on there. And that was done uh, by Pops Custom Clips 
and uh, I'll put a link to his Etsy uh, store uh, in the video description. Uh, just really awesome uh, deep pocket carry pocket clips. Uh, really impressed with the quality, uh, easy install, and just looks wicked with this uh, fully blacked out knife. You know, has the blacked out blade, a handle, and then the pocket clip, and just uh, really gives it a nice, uh, wicked, you know, look overall. Just really impressed with it. And uh, I'm going to go into some of the basic specifications of it. The overall length is 8.55 inches. The blade length is 3.57 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches wide. The blade steel is composed of the Japanese VG10 and does have the markings there. Get a closer look at it. With the Spyderco VG10. And the, the blade, as I said before, it is a hollow ground, fully serrated. Absolutely wicked. The handle material is the lightweight FRN fiberglass reinforced nylon. And this. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we have the Spyderco Cue Ball. This knife has a fully flat ground Warncliffe style blade made from VG10 stainless steel. It's going to have a high level of corrosion resistance, take a very fine edge and have good wear resistance, tapers to a nice fine point at the tip, and has a medium thickness on the blade stock, a solid large index finger choil that is going to provide a very secure and ergonomic grip. And this knife is very secure in the hand in a variety of positions, allowing you to put thumb pressure on the spine for heavy cuts and index finger pressure for detailed work with that fine tip. Puts the thumb right into the spider hole for a little more security in that grip as well. It's got a ceramic ball lock that provides a very secure lockup and smooth deployment and closing of the knife. The knife has a full stainless liner setup as well as a full stainless backspacer. So it's going to provide full protection of the blade when it's in the closed position. The inside of those liners are milled out a little bit to help reduce the overall weight of the knife. This knife is actually fairly... Thanks for watching and stay sharp. Hey guys, welcome to Living Survival. Back with another knife review. Today we got the Spider Co. Tenacious. Real popular EDC blade. A little bit heavier than the other ones I've been showing you. It's 7.76 overall length with a 3.39 blade, so it has a little bit longer blade. It's 8CR13 MOV steel from China. It has a drop point with a flat grind, and you can see the Spyderco logo there. It's got really nice G10 scales, and that's probably the thing I like most about it. And its larger size really fits into your hand really nicely. Is it too big for an EDC? Some people would say yes, some people would say no. It is a little bit thicker in pocket, however you can switch the pocket clip around, tip up, tip down, right side or left side, making it a great option for left or right handed people. It is a liner lock, it's got stainless steel liners. The lock up is beautiful and it seats beautifully into the liners. It does have a thumb ramp here with some jimping on it. Again that gives you really nice control, real confident grip, and it also does have some jimping here on the liner. It weighs is 4.10 ounces and does have the spider co thumb hole opening making it ambidextrous as well come nice and sharp from the factory and that nice big blade handles things like strapping again with that nice big blade surface no problem cutting through tubing no problem at all with your cordage really confident grip whittling on some wood so overall I really like this blade I do like its multiple clip options left or right hand side carry uh, I do like the bigger blade and the added weight and the thumb ramp with the jimping and just its bigger size makes it feel really good in your hand and gives you a really confident grip. So for a little bit larger EDC, so I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. 